What's going on guys? So today I have a solution for any of you people out there who have been having issues with Siri as far as connecting with, uh, to the servers. I actually have Siri from Siri Zone. I actually have a video right here. It actually displays and shows you exactly how to uh, install Siri on your iPhone 4. And uh, basically it works on other iDevices. So I paid $20 and I have a reserve slot on five servers from Siri Zone. Um, all the links are in the description. But anyway. I've actually been having issues today and I've read on other blogs that other people have been having issues as well with uh, Afterpain and after having their own proxy servers and all that. So apparently Apple has altered their requirements to um, successfully uh, connect to Siri um, by adding a new token to the mix. Uh, basically what happens is that's caused problems for any of those people who have been using uh, third party programs to connect to Siri. In this case, um, Spire. I use Spire. So I'm going to show you guys the error message. Hi Siri. I'm really sorry about this, but I can't take any requests right now. Please try again in a little while. So as you can see, if you heard that, Siri is having issues connecting to the server. Let's try it again. Hello Siri. something wrong and I can't answer your questions right now please try again in a little while okay so as you can see this is the issue that I've been having and a lot of people have been having but there's a solution for it uh, hopefully Apple doesn't block that way too but I want to show you how to fix this issue um, if you you basically need to SSH onto your phone into your phone and uh, delete a file if you have CyberDuck, like I have CyberDuck on my computer you can use that or you can use iFile on your iPhone 4 um, you can pretty much download it from Cydia. It's free. It's called iFile, I-F-I-L-E. Install it. I already have mine installed. Once you have it installed, get out. Go back to your springboard and open up iFile. Let's see if I can. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to go all the way back to the main. This is the root of uh, your iPhone 4. So what you want to do is you want to go to VAR, then you want to go to mobile, then you want to go to library, then preferences. I'll leave all this in the description so you guys can uh, get a better idea. Preferences, and then you want to look for the fi this file right here. It's called app uh, com dot apple dot assistant plist. This one right here. So what you want to do is you want to delete this one. Delete it. Once you delete it, you can basically go back and then you can respring. After your device comes back to the respring, what you want to do is you want to open and then try Siri again. Hi Siri. Greetings, Big Daddy. As you can see, Siri is working again. Let's try it again. Siri, what's the weather like today? Okay, so as you can see, Siri is working after the, that small tweak. Not really a tweak, but I guess I don't know how they found out that that's what you have to do to make Siri work again. But as you can see, it's working now, guys. So hopefully Apple doesn't decide to play another mouse and cat game and uh, do something else to put another block on the road. Hopefully this helped you. It definitely helped me. And I'll keep you guys updated on my website. You can check the website. Everything's in the description. Well guys, like always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, and you can add me on Facebook, or you can follow me on Twitter. Until next video, guys, peace.